G'day, so we just got back to the uh, boat ramp from uh, being out in the islands for a few days and uh, we thought before we put the boat back on the trailer we'd show you around the trailer and um, all about it. So it was made by uh, Boyd's Fabrication in Cairns. The main support for the boat is a full skid support. So there's no moving parts in it, no rollers that can fail, um, you know, nothing that can roll loose, nothing that can um, point load the boat or anything like that. So it's when it's riding along it's fully supported under the hull which protects the boat. Underneath it's just got a roller rocker leaf suspension, um, just a galvanised kit from uh, Alco trailer parts. Electric over hydraulic disc brakes on all four wheels, um, so it stops like a dream with the boat even when fully loaded. The trailer is rated for three and a half tonne. I think with the boat on there and the trailer and a bit of gear packed in it, we weigh around that 2.7 sort of mark. The tyres are running on it are an exact match for what we've got on the cruiser. So they're a 285-7516 um, tyre, a 33 inch in the old scale. They've got the same stud pattern, so they're a five stud Land Cruiser. So we carry the spare on the front of the trailer and one spare on the cruiser. So on the front, we've got a um, stone guard, which we got made at the same time. So it's welded in place, it's on there at all times. So on the front of the stone guard here, we've got a um, zip section, so that when we're loading the boat, we can access uh, this whole area. Just a standard wind on um, ratchet hitch. And then the tight section, we've got this um, you know, shackle, shackle onto the boat, shackle down to the trailer, we tighten the front of the boat down. And then the back, there's also um, a point on the trailer and a point on the boat that we can ratchet straight the back of the boat down, hold it down tight. In this box here, we've got uh, just a small car battery. Um, it runs our electric over hydraulic and all that sort of stuff. Um, it also runs um, down in the front here, we've got a um, 12 volt um, quad winch. So it is a 4,500 pound winch um, and it does all right to pull the boat on um, but we just run it through a pulley and uh, it has plenty of grunt to do that. Also in there we've got a uh, 12 volt water pump. The trailer's got a uh, water tank in the full sort of uh, external frame, this frame here. We can hook onto this tap here, turn that on and um, it's actually a pressurised tap. So we can hook a hose onto that and that's what we'd use to flush out the uh, boat motor or wash the boat down if we wanted to or rinse the trailer after you've dipped it in the salt water. On the front we've got uh, the Cruise Master DO35 hitch, um, you know, off-road hitch, got that extra little bit of articulation that we may need at some times. All the um, electrical wiring from this point back is run in um, aluminium um, pipe so we don't have to worry about any of our cables getting hit by rocks, chipped. Um, ripped off or anything like that. They're, they're all protected all the way through. All our brake lines run through the same, through um, similar pipes. Um, nothing around. So they're all really well protected from getting damaged. I think that's about it. It's a bloody nice trailer. I'm really happy with it. Um, super tough. Does exactly what we want it to do and um, doesn't let us down.